Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, just a quick update to uh, what I've done uh, to the printer in the last few weeks. I haven't done as much as I was hoping to, but uh, as usual, uh, lack of time. But I've managed to insulate it with um, Celotex and remove most of the bubble wrapping around the outside. Um, we've also made like a, uh, a a screen that moves with the carriage and retains most of the heat in the chamber. So it kind of moves like that with the carriage and uh, yeah, it holds most of the heat in there. Obviously, some does escape, but I mean, I'm holding a temperature of 70 degrees. If I can get the camera to focus, which it's not going to. It's rubbish. So there, it's. Uh, Ambient temperature is 70.5. I'm only requesting for 70 degrees, so uh, it's bang on really. And uh, the actual chamber heater is set to hold at around about 190. And that, with a couple of fans, I've actually installed a couple of fans in there now. Underneath that carbon fibre sheet is a couple of circulation fans just blowing air through the heat sink and uh, another piece of carbon fibre just led on the top to stop the air from buffeting up the side wall and then creating disturbance up inside. Unfortunately with the Celotex the way I've this door is uh, not finished it's just a piece of Celotex put there for now hopefully I'll have I will eventually have a polycarbonate door that's see-through that allows me to see in there entirely. At the moment I've just got this little hatch I just pull out a couple of fans in there. And, uh, so yeah, just Keeps the heat in lovely, 70 degrees, not a problem. Heats up in about 10 minutes. And a lot less heat escaping means that it heats up quicker and holds temperature with a lot less energy input. So Celotex is much better. Um, just need the carbon, the polycarbonate door to finish it off. And uh, change all this and get rid of all this mess. Because this is a, what I've just been testing with and I still need to change over to a 32-bit board yet. but all in good time. Um, I did add these two air regulators for the air blow. Um, obviously I use two air nozzles now to direct a very fine jet in the exact right places and I've used these as, uh, as uh, the cooling um, adjustment really so it's hard to see at the moment but in, I do have two small air jet nozzles in there I can pull on and adjust to create a nice cooling zone just under the nozzle uh, that helps with ABS um, quite a lot obviously I've got no cooling fan in there uh, at the moment I'm just printing a back plate so it's quite a large flat plate that eventually it looks like a box but that's going to be part of my fascia which is going on here, which I printed. This is printed in ABS. This version 1. Yeah, changed my mind on that one. So uh, this is the backplate control board which will uh, house these two air regulators. They're not on at the moment because it's, it's not bridging and it's not doing anything fine detail so it doesn't really need an air blow. But I might turn it on later when uh, when I'm doing the fine walls of this box. But, yeah, so the, it's insulated better than it was in Celotex. It's got a top cover that keeps the heat in and allows it to move quite freely. It, it, they run on a Teflon on a Teflon tape in the very bottom there, so if you can see, it's a low friction. Obviously some heat does escape through those gaps, but 
because there's no gaps at the bottom it doesn't allow for a draft created by convection and so actually very little heat does escape so that was just some uh, polycarbonate sheets trimmed up and taped together with uh, Kapton tape riding on uh, that Teflon tape and it works quite well it's I'll probably make some magnets and some clips so that it can be clipped on and clipped off. It's just taped on there with silver foil at the moment. Yeah, it works works really well actually. And uh, holds 70 degrees, not a problem. I can go 80 but I've found that, to be honest, anything above 60 for ABS, as long as there's no fan, that's all you need. The bed at about 80 to 90 no fan inside by the by the hot end and um, yeah heat the chamber up to about 60 and yeah I, I get virtually no warping whatsoever and I can print quite large flat objects without without any warping so that's stayed flat and yeah it worked well so uh, the piece I'm printing will basically fix to the back of this and allow the pressure regulators to fit in there I've got two new gauges to fit on the front of here that's just pressed in there to test the hole size got some more switches to wire in and fit in these are illuminated 12 volt switches yeah just to tidy it up a bit and once I get the 24, the 32-bit control board in there, that'll finish it off. I mean, I printed this just to test this, so I didn't short this thing out when I was testing it. But this is the new 3.2 MKS touchscreen. And yeah, some of this was printed on on my printer a month ago, and that came out first first attempt. In ABS, nice and flat, didn't even lift in the corners, perfectly flat. And that's just with a, uh, a chamber temperature of about 60, 65 degrees, if I remember. And it came out really well. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm having really good success with ABS. So I have tried PET G and polycarbonate. I'm struggling to get the polycarbonate to stick to anything. Um, I can do small prints but anything larger than a few inches and uh, yeah, it's not really, it doesn't stay stuck down. Um, it's, it's been suggested to use uh, I think P, PIE or PEI sheets which uh, I'm going to invest a couple in fairly soon and try some out and see if that works on polycarbonate, maybe that's better. but. Yeah, so there we go, it's insulated. I'm on the way for improving the electrics and electronics and switch gear and tidying it up and making it a bit better. And uh, just thought I'd do a quick update. I've still got loads of videos to um, edit and put up on what I've done and what I've found with the stepper drivers, with different types of stepper motors. And yeah, it's all good information, but I need to put it in a a better format so that it's understandable and then I'll upload it but it's just struggling on time but I thought I'd upload this just to show you know how easy it is to make a heated chamber and keep the heat in because it makes a lot of difference with ABS and yeah for anyone that's sort of struggling with ABS it's, I suppose that's, that's the way that's what you need to do is enclose it no fans and um, yeah you will you, you you'll see the difference with ABS. I mean, I've noticed the difference straight away just by using the Celotex and eliminating any drafts that come round the bottom before because I had only had it Velcroed on. I would have drafts come in up through the bottom in the corners and drafts coming in here and drafts round the back. And those drafts were allowing convection to come up and just disturb the air in there. And yeah, it's amazing how much a difference it can make to just totally enclose, stop any cold air coming in and your ABS prints will be improved significantly I suspect. And it's worked for me and uh, this is just a, 
obviously a homemade printer, so it's nothing fancy, or it's, you know, it's not had years of R&D or development on it, but if I can print in ABS nice and flat, then I suspect that's all it is, is just chamber temperature and keeping a stable environment. So yeah, there we are. Need to tidy it up a bit more and uh, I'll get some more videos up in the new year and uh, hopefully have this looking a bit better and on to some more improvements that I've got in mind. But there we go. And uh, happy new year. Cheers guys.